Hey guys, this is Christian here with Home Review Central. Now, the Nest Learning Thermostat fast became the most loved smart thermostat out there, and for good reason. It's sleek, stylish, and easy to use. But despite being so easy to use, it may still require some work to get to know. That's why we've put together this guide, to help you learn everything there is to know about the Nest Learning Thermostat and how to use it. If you don't already have a Nest, you can get one for yourself using the link in the description. For this guide, we're assuming that you've already installed your thermostat, and that it's the latest and greatest third generation of the thermostat. Let's take a look and see what you can do with the Nest Learning Thermostat. Basic use of the Nest Thermostat is really simple. It really only requires two input methods, a ring around the thermostat, which, cha which changes your selection and controls things like temperature, and a button, which you can press by pressing in that ring, like so. There's no touch screen here, but we would argue that using it uh, this way is just as easy as using a touch screen on your phone. Now, the most basic function of the Nest Learning Thermostat is controlling the temperature, and thankfully it's super easy to do from either the device itself or from the app. First up is the device. You probably have the device uh, set to either the heater or the air conditioner, and if that's the case, all you have to do is approach the thermostat and turn the ring around it to your desired temperature. If you want to change from heating to air conditioning, simply press that ring around the device, turn it to the heating and air conditioning icon, like so, uh, turn around to your desired mode, and press in. Setting things in the app is pretty easy to do as well. Open up the app and tap on the thermostat you want to control. Then you can either th drag the circle around the, th the temperature to your preference, or use the arrows. To change mode, hit the button on the bottom left hand corner and then tap on the mode you want to use. Not only can you set the temperature you want, but you can also schedule desired temperatures for different times of day. To do this from the device, press in the ring to access your basic controls and then scroll around to the little calendar icon, which is scheduling mode. Press in to select that and then scroll around to the desired time of day that you want to make a change. We're going to set 6.30 p.m. on Wednesday. Press in and then hit the new button to create a new change. You'll then be given the option to set the time. Uh, so again, we're going to set 6.45 p.m. on Wednesday. Press in to select that and then you'll be able to scroll around to set the desired temperature. To change a scheduled uh, temperature change, scroll around to that already scheduled event. We have one set on 65 degrees at 12.30 p.m. on Thursday. Then press in. You'll then be given the option to either change or delete the scheduled event. If you want to change it, select the change button and then scroll around to change it to a different time. Press in and then you have the option to change the temperature. Again, press in to make sure uh, the selection is made and you should be good to go. From the app, schedules a little, are a little easier to handle. Open the app and select the thermostat, then hit the schedule button at the bottom. Then you'll select the day that you want to schedule an event, then hit the add or remove button on the bottom right. Press add to add an event, and then press on the display in the time and temperature that you want. You can then drag the event across the X axis to change the time, and along the Y axis to change the temperature. To remove an event, simply tap on the remove button and press the event that you want to remove. Changing the basic settings in the Nest thermostat is pretty easy to do as well. Now, we're not going to go through every setting on the thermostat, but we encourage you to do so to select the right features and settings that you want. To access the settings menu, simply press in and then scroll around to the little gear icon, which is settings. Here's a quick rundown of the main settings. Within the uh, settings menu, you have a lock, which allows you to lock the thermostat to make sure no other changes are made. We're not going to do that. You can change the eco temperature. Um, we have it set to, or we're going to set it to 60 degrees Fahrenheit. You can scroll around to Home Away Assist. Now, Home Away Assist is basically, um, uh, it's when Nest can figure out if you're home or away and uh, can set the temperature to be, you know, to warm things up for when you get home or to turn the thermostat off for when you leave. Um, then you have other settings like reminders. You can set the thermostat to remind you to do things like change the air filter in your heaters. We're not going to do that. Uh, you have uh, different brightness for the display, auto, low, medium, high. We have it to auto because that basically just changes the display brightness depending on how bright uh, you know the room is. 
Uh, you can change the Farsight display, which is uh, the information that's going to be shown on your thermostat if you walk past it. Um, we have it set to the current temperature. You can set it to the target temperature for any given moment, the time, either analog or digital, or the weather. Um, and you have a bunch of other settings, like changing if the click sound is on or off, and so on. Now to exit the settings menu, that's pretty easy to do. Just scroll all the way to the left, or all the way to the right, press in, and you're back to your main home screen. Accessing settings in the app is also pretty easy to do. Simply open up the app, and then hit the thermostat uh, that you want to control. Then you'll have a settings button in the top right hand corner, and you can scroll through the different settings and make changes as you want. If you don't have a Nest thermostat, check out the description for a link to buy one, as well as links to our social channels. Please subscribe for more home reviews. Thanks for watching. Again, my name is Christian here with Home Review Central, and we'll see you next time. See ya.